Hello everyone. So, um, some of you requested a update, a new makeup tutorial. And to these five people I say, yes, you can have it. So this will be in English. So brace yourself for a bumpy ride. And I thought I could do something fun and try out something that I've never done before. Um, um, applying these fun lifting tapes, because you know, not getting any younger. <laughs> and yeah, I actually don't know what I'm doing in general, and especially when it comes to makeup. Um, the beauty scene, beauty industry is just insane, so this makeup tutorial will benefit nobody because, you know, I can only paint my face on a good day. So let's hope that this is one of them. And so I, I washed my face. Should I do that again? It's been some hours. You know what, I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna wash my face. This will be, <laughs> um, also I want to mention this will be an, an, an edited. So, see you in 10 minutes. No. No. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna wash my face with soap, just now, because there's nothing else in the office. Don't do that. So, be nice to your skin and to your face. I need a towel. So good news, I found face wash. I took somewhere when I stayed at a hotel. Remember these times? Back in the day when we were allowed to travel. <laughs> so, okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put on a wig cap just in case I feel the need to pop on some hair later. Um, so just so you know, you don't need a wig cap if you're not wearing wigs. So just a little pro tip. Okay. Uh, and so yes. Maybe some talking points that we could get through. This, actually some people ask me if this is an original piece of art. It is, but it is a print and I got it in Hanover, Hanover, um, at the Opera Ball and they always have the most beautiful decoration you can imagine and, and their own team is doing the paintings and like, building settings and you know the things you need in an opera house or a stage in general so <clears throat> so yeah this is from Hanover I said that so it's beautiful isn't it okay so I washed my face that's good and then I love to do a little a little face mist this I actually got from a plane ride. Mm. Mm. Rejuvenating, hydrating. Okay, so there's that. I could, sometimes I use a beauty blender to just. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then um, I, I would recommend using a primer. So what a primer does is basically um, evening out your face. And I need that because this face has been through a lot in terms of 
enjoying my life. Okay, so um, I will use a primer by a Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer by Smashbox. So that's cute. And I, I try not to be as messy as I'm usual. So I, you know, I put it on my, on my hand and then I just, I want to say dab it in, but I just smear it all over my face. And I, I already feel that all this chemicals and plastic stuff that is in there is filling up my pores and so I have and now I have a canvas that is smooth and ready to go I feel like a beauty influence already so all right I don't know if there are some things that I want to talk about I thought if I should if I should write down some talking points, you know, in case our conversation is, is, is um, stagniert. I don't know what that is in English. Stagnates, you know. But I'm a talker. So, okay, so we did the primer and then I just love to to look at me and, and just figure out what to do. Oh, this is cute. Oh, look, I got curls, you know, the guys, I got curly hair. I'm obsessed. Martin did, did such a great job on cutting my hair. I mean, there was, a, there was a period where I was like, okay, I'm gonna trust the process, babes. Not feeling the haircut in any way, but now I do. Um, he was right, obviously. Now I look gorgeous again. Okay, so I don't know if you're supposed to put on these lifting thingies. Like now? I guess you have to put it on now, right? And then you, you go over it with uh, the foundation. So, okay, wait. <clears throat> so what I need is a little... A little... Oh, here we go. A little um, alcohol, you know, this always comes in handy. Whether you have to clean your skin or, or wash your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. You know, we just, um, I don't know if you've seen that, but we are um, currently renovating the studio and so I got this beautiful vanity made by Edo Music and and my lovely lovely the love of my life Andre Kasai so I'm very happy with that it got so many lights I mean it got two of these huge light panels <clears throat> and I love being here and I think I'm gonna move in. Okay, so what you do, I mean, no, we're not gonna. Okay, so I would say that it's a good idea to clean your skin so that this little fucker will stay on and pull my face back. Oh my god, I never did that. Oh, I love it. Who doesn't love a, a little face lift? I don't know if that is. I just. Okay. 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 Oh, that makes sense. Look at it. Can you see it? It's almost invisible. Okay. <clears throat> so, what's going on in my life right now? Am um, I. 
have this beautiful podcast project with my dear sister, Barbie Breakout, where we review the 13th season of Drag Race. I don't know if that's now symmetrical. I mean, you know what? If I then have a wonky eye, so be it. Oh no, I think this could... Yeah, that looks like fun. Okay. Well, it was not that hard. Um, I, I think this is like five years old. But alcohol should not expire, right? Right? Is it normal that I can't? No. Okay, so. Mm. Blah, what an awful taste. Okay. So, I love to start um, with the foundation and therefore, um, I always, you know, when it comes to foundation, I think um, it's kind of hard to get the right shade by just buying one product. I mean, if you get like sample, a sample skin color, good for you. Not on this channel. I need to mix. I need to mix that. So I do a little um, Paris Berlin, Paris Berlin, um, and I do a little Mac. what I don't like is when it is too yellow and I always feel I think that when you put in a darker shade the base color turns into more like a rosé and not a yellow I have no idea if this is true but it kind of works for me so um, the question is, sometimes I put it on the beauty blender and I do this and sometimes I do it on the skin and on the beauty blender, but um, either way, just go for it. <clears throat> See, and this is what I, what I don't like actually, I need, I need my skin to be moist and wet. Mm. Gorgeous, okay. <clears throat> And again, this is not a makeup tutorial that is very inventive. I really just do a basic eye because I'm a basic bitch. Okay. I mean, isn't this fun? Pounding your face. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just, ugh, this little vodka sip was not as cute as I wanted it to be. So here we go. Okay, foundation. I mean, it's like a medium coverage, I would say. I don't normally do like full coverage. Um, Probably I should do it because sometimes on TV I really do look very rough. <laughs> well, it's kind of my personality too, but hey. So as there is still some product on my on the back of my hand, why not put it on there? So I just recently uh, discovered Emilia Farts. And I'm absolutely in love with her. I saw um, um, the YouTube videos where, where she was talking to her family. And this was just so incredible. What a, what a soul. Love you, Emilia. And what a joy to watch all of your content because I can totally relate to 
many things that are going on in your head. So there's that. Okay, I love concealer. I love concealer because I love the moment when it like melts together. So, so now you know. Um, and then I watched, and then I watched um, um, this makeup tutorial Scott Barnes did on Tati, and I wanted to do this nose contour thing because I never really contoured my nose before, um, except of last, like, like the day before yesterday. And it was not very successful, but I, and I understand that it does something quite flattering to your face when you do it right. Okay, so now, <clears throat> I do a little uh, concealer and this is from Temp2, Temp2, but you can use obviously concealer that is just lying around your house in a drawer, drawer, just shake that. And if it smells funky, Ignore that you get through it. Okay, so here we go. Now blend. So blending is essential because we want it to look as airbrushed, airbrushed as possible. And therefore you really have to get in. See, I think that this concealer stick is also a little bit older because it tickles on my skin. You may ask yourself, so bitch, why are you using that product? I, I just thought I'm gonna do something different now. I wanna entertain you, you know? I thought that we're not gonna edit this video, but Andre said, Send me the material before you post anything. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, wait. That looks actually really nice. Okay, time two. You're totally working. <sighs> okay, so now. What I will um, copy from Mr. Scott Barnes is that I will do the contour before I powder. Wait, everybody does that, right? Well, anyway. Ignore me. Okay. So then I have this wonderful, what is it called? The Bobbi Brown Palette Corrector Cream Concealer Skin Foundation. Fabulousness. And I will take a very light shade and give my nose a little, a little love. Oh, see, I don't. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yes, okay, 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 okay. So I found guys. So I love my nose, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy my nose, it's a cute nose, it's not the smallest one, but I love it. But when in drag, I really want it to be like, you know, itty bitty tiny. So yes, I'm, I'm playing in the team where you do the, what's it called in English? Rufzeichen heute. So, I'm gonna blend this. Blendy, blendy, blendy. You can't blend that much here though, because then it's gone. Again, another pro. Don't cancel me. I'm trying to do something here. So yes, I'm gonna do a little bit dab, 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 dab. So this is not too harsh. You know what, the most important thing is, is the little dot on the nose anyway. Because now you think, oh God, 
gosh, I mean, he got the tiniest, tiniest itsy bitsy teeny nose I've ever seen. And you're right. <clears throat> okay. So that's cute. Um, um, let's powder. I started, when I started doing drag, I, I, where is it? I used to, I used to powder my face with baby powder. We do that today. I think today is one of those days where we could go. I'm sorry. I just, ignore me. I'm a burper. Everybody who knows me will be now like, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. You know what, baby powder? You have your revival today. I mean, aren't we so excited? Um, so I'm gonna take a cute brush to brush my face. When I could do that for baking. Okay, wait, okay, wait, okay, okay, okay. I, is, I have, so I, I will, uh, so, okay, to set all of this, I will take this beautiful Bobbi Brown Retouch Loose Powder in Peach. And I'm gonna set my foundation so that nothing is moving anywhere. I hope I haven't been increasing because that, see. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. So that'll do it for now. And now we go shit. Okay, anyway. And now we're gonna do a. We will do a little baking. A little baking. Baking means that you put on powder um, under your eyes, and then it kind of lightens up because kind of stays, but not bit anyway. You'll see it, okay. So, uh, now, this is what I, what I saw, what I, what I have seen recently, that everybody puts the bake on the side of the nose. Oh, that looks good. Okay. <clears throat> so far, I'm very happy with what I'm doing. Okay. Let's make this as symmetrical and clean as possible. It's going somewhere. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm constantly thinking of questions that I receive by you on a regular base. But I just forget everything. So probably you want to know if there's new music on the way. There's always new music on the way. You just have to open up Spotify and you get new artists. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, yes. I'm in a writing process. So we'll see if these things will ever appear on the surface of the universe or not. But I'm creative and um, so yeah. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but there's something. Yes. You know, you know me, you know me. I, I, I'm talking about new music and then three years later, <laughs> I'm like, here it is. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, yeah. We will see if that ever will be different. Okay, so now I will do. So I love, I love to put on um, a quite bright um, eyeshadow before I start doing anything because I think that's a nice base and it blends easier afterwards. So I'm gonna use um, this Urban Decay. Pulp Fiction palette. Um, the color is called Right, Right, 
writers, writers, writers. Just take, just take, just take a, a, a bright color, white or any, any shade of white. No. And you know what? I never, I never covered my eyebrows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that the next time. Follow some instructions. By one of these many talented queens online. I really enjoy watching um, Roxanne. That's a character Pearl created. I think this is one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Um, Roxanne is more like um, is a is a lady. She's very much into um, enjoying her life and plastic surgery. And <sighs> Pearl is just a genius. I find her so. I find it to be so funny and so beautiful. Gosh, she's off with her boyfriend. What a nice couple. Um, so, <clears throat> um, so if you want pro tips, probably you wanna you wanna meet her online and check her um, tutorials because she's just gorgeous. Okay, so I did that, and 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 you know, I'm as I said, I'm quite. Boring, basic when it comes to makeup. I really just, I'm in my mind. I think that I'm Nicole Scherzinger. You know, that's that's always the look I'm going for. Or um, Angelina Jolie. And yeah, is it a stretch? I don't know. I in my in my mind it totally works. So I would always go for a cat eye. And now that I have these lifting tapes on, I think this really would look will look bomb. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, and I love, you know what, I, I love, love, love me a good reddish, brownish, purple moment on my eyelid. And so, um, I start with, um, um, let's, mm, let's do... <laughs> Let's go with my instinct and take the color instinct of the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basic Basic Bitch Palette and I just instantly create this upwards movement with my Soeva 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Cute, already cute. So, the trick to blending is you don't take that much product and you give it quite some time to blend and layer and blend and layer and blah, blah, blah. I'm not good at this. I don't really love to take that much time when it comes to that, but for you, I'll try to act like a pro. So, here we go. On the side, on the other side, if you go for a symmetric look. You know, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay, so that's cute. So I think what I'm trying to do is, I, I rather more create the illusion of um, that my eye naturally looks like that. So it's more like a shadow of... Uh, okay. And then just darken it a little bit. So I started with this like purpley color. Yeah, 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 cute, 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 cute. And then also the under. Just with this half a brick. 
Oh, so I told my mom the other day, um, in, and I believe she would be like, oh, really beautiful, yeah, go for it. So I told my mom the other day that I will do more drag now <clears throat> because I kind of miss it. Um, I'm feeling myself, you know, in, in so many different ways now that I haven't before. And I said to her, well, yeah, Conchita is coming back. And the only thing she had got to say is like, you know that you're not as skinny as you used to be. And don't cancel my mom. She's not about body shaming at all. But what she meant was, so I was once um, on uh, a guest church on the Mask Singer, Germany. And I wore a, a very petite strap, strappy dress. And my mom just didn't like that my not so muscular shoulders and arms were showing that much. So she didn't like the contrast. And I said to her mom, I got this. I will wear big sleeves and big ruffles so that this will be balanced out. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? Can I see that? So I'm just layering, as I say. And I try to meet um, Is it right to say to meet my eye, whatever, like in the middle, I'm gonna stop like approximately in the middle so that this is a very thin line and then it just <sighs> whatever. Are you still listening? So here we go. Boop 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 boop. That's cute. And you want to make sure that this situation is kind of giving the illusion of of symmetry that these are symmetric. Cool. So you wanna do that so that you don't end up um, with two different eyes if you're going for a symmetrical look. So yeah, as I said. So um, I already see like the Angelina Jolie bitch face is coming out, so. We're moving in the right direction, guys. You people. Okay. Good. All right, and now let's take the darkest black there is on the makeup market, I think, is the black of the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which I took care of. Not at all. <laughs> she is, this palette has seen it all. Is this the right brush to do that? Okay, anyway, so with black, you really wanna make sure that you, um, that you wanna get rid of, of um, <clears throat> the product that is not sticking to the brush that good. So you, avoid um, fallout and this is also why the baking comes where the baking comes in handy because if you have fallout you know you just brush it away you just brush it away okay so I'm gonna darken that with the black but not too much you know I just I don't because I want to see the other colors performing too I always talk in a fantasy language because I'm practically, you know, I really don't care that much about grammar. <laughs> you know, you get what I mean. Okay, here we go. So yes, 
But besides that, my mom said that I should take care of my proportions. She was very excited to hear that I came back to, you know, celebrating my female side more again. Because she knows me and she knows that I missed it deep within. But you know, you have to, you have to go through things. You have to figure out life and that it's blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that, you see, that's basically all I do. It's just a little wingy dingy. And now I can, oh yes, so this is, okay, here we go. Um, so I love to darken um, my, my upper waterline. This is what it's called, the waterline. With this Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. Crayon Gel pour les jeux. Okay, because this is a very good one because it's very smudgy so you can get it in there Alrighty. cute I mean I always went like for a more whorish look which basically means that that's my excuse for not having polished makeup. But you know, it kind of goes with the beard. Okay. So I just, um, fuck, what's the name? I just saw a little about, uh, um, um, I, I came across this beautiful song called Malibu by what is her name? The beautiful blonde. It'll come to my mind. Anyway, so I'm obsessed. So I'm creating um, my summer playlist already. It's called Summer of 69 because this is how I feel that this summer is gonna be. The summer of love. We can again at least have some outdoor events because <sighs> I need to make out with some boys to be honest. This is not bearable anymore. I mean, I'm okay, don't get me wrong, but I just, I just want to say hello to as many as I can. <laughs> so yes, I'm, I'm very much um, looking forward to that and this is why I call it Summer of 69 because it will be the Summer of Love and I will do a little um, vintage revival 70s fashion moment. And I, I've been uh, at home in Styria um, over Christmas and I found so many cute tops, t-shirts in my old... Um... No, what's it called? Kasten. You know where you put your clothes in? So, yeah. I found some very cute things and... Oh, this is one of them. I wore that when I was, I don't know, like 12. I mean, it has been very big back then because, you know, it's obviously very old. I think my parents wore that when they were uh, teenagers, whatever. So, um, and I figured, yeah, <clears throat> let's do a little Summer of 69 um, playlist. And there's also this song Malibu by... Holy fuck, why do I forget this constantly? Yeah, that is the playlist I'm creating at the moment. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that song. 
And I'm, I'm obsessed with Jessie Ware. I love her music. <clears throat> and I love Keke. She's an Austrian singer. Oh, so talented. Gosh. Yes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Have you listened to um, Small Town Boy by Ricky Marino and myself? Also beautiful. What a fun project. I completely fell in love with the boys. All of them. Salva, Pablo, Ricky. <sighs> yeah. And then I did a, a, a I did um, Love Machine with Lou Asriel, another immensely talented Austrian musician, producer, songwriter, singer. Um, so it was a quite exciting year last year, but now that was not a good time for. I will I will do better ones. You'll see. Okay, so we move on. Um, get rid of the bake, I would say. We get rid of the bake with another brush because I cleaned them after years of not cleaning them. So, and now I put that away and you already see that it brightened up this situation. And we're gonna use that again, I think that, I mean, there's a reason why they don't sell baby powder to do makeup, because it is a bit, I look a bit papery now, but we'll fix that with our fixing spray. That's the magic of it all. Then it looks back, then it looks like skin again. And this is what we want skin on our faces. All right, so here we go. Um, we need a mascara. We do a little mascara. What should I take? Bobbi Brown, why not? Beautiful. This is the intensifying long wear mascara. Oh gosh, when I do a long wear mascara, then I look like a panda bear when I remove my makeup. And also I think that this one is a little too Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, no. Just get in there. Get the roots of your lashes. I mean, I will always, obviously do some fake lashes. If you're not a fake lash uh, person, I highly recommend curling your natural lashes. I also do that sometimes just when I, you know, um, don't do any makeup at all because it just opens your eye. And yeah, pro tip, you can heat your lash curler with your hair dryer, but please be careful because this fucker really gets very hot and then you burn your eyelid and we don't want that. So if you heat it up, please. Don't make it too hot because you burn yourself. And by heating the lash curler, it kind of has the same effect like a curling iron. They stay longer, basically, you know. Heat and hair. And you'll get any result you desire. Okay, so cute, cute, cute. I think that my eye never changed all over these years. I mean, it obviously did, it got a little bit better, but I mean, this nose thingy is so doing it for me. This little dot. on to contour so well okay mm. I should have I should have how did I contour last time 
Oh yes, I took, I took um, an all-nighter foundation by Urban Decay in the color 9. To then, did I do it with a brush? Oh gosh, I'm, I'm all over the place. But you know, we're getting there. We're gonna, we're getting there. I didn't use that one. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make it with the beauty. Let's do the beauty blender. We had so much success with the beauty blender. So I don't have to contour that much because obviously of the because of the beard. But you know. A little something. And then I'm gonna darken it. Because that is too um orangey for me, for my taste. Ugh. Look at this. It's never really symmetrical. Okay. So that's cute. Yes, 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 yes. Blend, 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 blend. Oh. Just a little bit here. Blend, blend, blend. You see, am I pulling the foundation? Well, no. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. Oh gosh, that's very. That's a contrast. Okay, we're gonna set it. We're gonna set it again. Hmm. Powder is kind of high pigmented. Can this does that make sense? Is it, I mean, no, it's it, not really like, but it it blurs everything out quite nice. I love it. Okay, <clears throat> so that's cute. And now I'm gonna take and now I'm gonna take a little ankle. Oh yes, uh, that's a brush by my dear friend Alma. And it's a O four, and it's you know I got this little um, moment where you can. I'm not carving out my cheeks, but 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 um, it's easy to apply your cheek thingy. Okay, so okay so okay so um and therefore I'm gonna use. Um, again, it's Bobbi Brown. It's um, an eyeshadow palette. Like, it's this eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take this color, like this grayish thing, because I really love to do my contour in more of a gray, in a gray direction. Because I want it to look like a shadow. And in my world, a shadow is gray. And also I kind of like my skin to look a little bit, you know, hanging around on the graveyard, Dracula. This is... I don't know if this is going well, but I'm gonna run with it. So, mm, mm, mm. that's actually that's a lot of lot of makeup for me. But we'll 
we'll see. Once the lashes are on, lashes fix everything. Um, um, yes, we're gonna do a little blush. We'll do a little blush, and this is a Clinique um, lipstick in Beige Pop. I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna warm it up. I'm not quite sure if <laughs> this color really works. Um, but anyway, so, and then I'm gonna take another brush by Alma. Um, using the A07. You know, I'm a rubber but dab. And we dab it on. And now I kind of try to marry this outrageous contour that I just did with the rest. <laughs> Look at this, this is so cute. Oh, it's so gorgeous. You know what, I was never really like into um, blush. But now with these fabulous Instagram filters, I see, I understand what blush can do. And now I'm doing it, you know. You live and you learn. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Just a little bit on the nose. Du, 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 du. Because I also enjoy that look when you have blush on your nose and it looks a little bit like you got a little cold and you're a little bit freezing and you it just to me it's I mean I mean Right, art, look at me. So I'm gonna put a little bit here, because why not? Okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, yes. I'm gonna put on some lashes and I think that's basically it. Um, and because I can't really do any that much to my lips. I always thought, I mean, I never really thought of getting my lips done, but again, this Instagram filter situation is, um, it is doing something to me. And so Agnes, hi girl, Agnes Champagne, she texted me, so yeah, when do you, when, when will you get your lips done? <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't see it for myself. I love, I love terms of I love when they when a queen gets fillers or something like that or when they when they sich die Lippen aufballern I love that it looks so good and I love it on boys too I love boys with lashes thick moist silicone lips I think that looks so hot okay Lashes. <laughs> Lashes. So I think that mm, lashes get better with time. These are not the ones I want. I'm not gonna lie. I have some lashes that are five to six years old. And I still use them. Clever, I don't know. Should I recommend it? Probably not. But you know what? You do you. So for me, it totally works. Um, so uh, I love this black do glue because it dries black and it just does. It helps you. Um, Blending out, you know, when it when it's not black enough, then the the glue will, you know, 
will support you in that manner. And can you please support me now because what the fuck is going on? <clears throat> I have not been doing makeup in a while and this glow is not. <coughs> Don't come for me. YouTube, you can't, I can't, I can't sing any songs because then you have to pay, right? So forget about what I just did. Okay, so you put on the glue. You let them sit here for a moment. To the other side. Oh. I will make. I will take some pictures, I guess. What? Oh, gosh, I think this glue is also six years old or what? What is going on? Okay, diddle, that'll do. Diddle, that'll do. And here we go. And then I'm gonna bend her a little bit and we pop her right on don't be afraid of fake lashes they are more afraid of you and I think placing them perfectly takes a moment but we've all been through this and we'll get there together I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about oh come on stay there I'm See what I mean? Once the lashes are on, nobody gives a fuck about your skin. Okay. So they need a little love for back and forth, and press, and wiggle, and do, and blah. Stay on. <laughs> okay, I can do for now. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, as I said, now I'm gonna put on a little bit of. A fix plus all day hydrating spray vitamin C blah, blah, vitamin everywhere by Mac and <sighs> fix and face. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. will dry and then we look flawless it will remove all the powder and it will dry down and your skin looks like skin again and if this lash can can we work together like as a team 
please there are people watching you're not gonna embarrass me don't be a bitch bitch oh i think this glue is 48 years old but it'll do so yes yeah. oh the lifting tape okay I've, I don't know how this works. Okay, okay. So, you put that in there. some hair please okay 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 oh love shit oh my god oh my god oh my god okay, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna take a shorter one because This is a okay. Wait a minute. Wait a moment. This is the longest. This is yeah. Let's take that one. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Fuck. I love it. You see that this lash is not. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh God, I have to feel more. I hurt myself. Okay. 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 You know, some people can't put in contacts, contact lenses, and I can't, apparently. Oh gosh, I hate things like that. I get so mad. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Around. Can do this. Do this, get through this, get do this, get through oh. okay. Is this success? Oh, okay, 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 yes, yes. I mean, it's doing something. Okay, I just my only concern is does this stay in place? Probably doing something wrong, but hey. Okay, so um, <laughs> trick. If your lash is not cooperating.
You'll fix it with a liquid eyeliner and then it appears exactly as it should. I mean, I mean. Much Martin for styling my little friend. And we and this is the final result. Shit, I should have. Okay, I need to get rid of my shirt um, for my pictures, but you get it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe and whatever. You know the things you gotta do to, to be on YouTube. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy life and see you. <laughs>